stars. Yes. What's the meaning behind the name? Um, I think what happened was it was me, me and a friend of mine were putting on a birthday party and um, we decided to just create some aliases and then I came up with stars and then from then I just sort of continued to use it. So, right. yeah. Does it relate to the music? Mm, don't know. No, because at the time when I made the name, I wasn't actually producing my own stuff back then. So I think it's quite separate, but I think it's fitting for the music. Yeah? Yeah, I think it works. Let's talk about the music. Cool. What do you do? So I'm a singer, I'm a producer. Uh, I like to go, I like to label myself more as a sound artist um, because in that way it just helps me when I'm approaching making a song to see it more as a landscape piece or a soundscape piece. All right. But yeah, but essentially I produce music and I sing. What do you produce with? Produce with Logic. And there are many various very cool apps out there these days where, yeah, you can just get so many cool sounds. But yeah, pretty much Logic is the main the main beast. What are your influences then? Oh gosh, influences. It's really weird. Like some people will say, oh, what are you listening to right now? I'm like, you know, a few nature landscapes, birds singing, ocean waves. But if you um, if you had to give like a boilerplate, you know, you're yeah, meeting, like, meeting a big wig at an industry event. Yeah, you have and to I explain what to, yeah. the elevator pitch. Yeah, I, I mean, when I'm making music, I don't, I'm not thinking, okay, I want to sound like this person. But in terms of who I enjoy listening to, one of my favorite artists, they're actually a duo. They're two sisters, and they're called Coco Rosie, mm -hmm. and they're an experimental sort of weird alternative folk group and they make very interesting music so if anyone out there is into like weird alternative stuff Coco Rosie is for you alright <laughs> <laughs> what do your live performances look like then? well actually it will be really interesting because I'm going to be at the Breakout Club end of this month 26th oh. November and it will be my first time performing as a solo artist um, because prior to being stars I've done you know been a backing vocalist I've been in different bands and so this will be the first time that I'm actually doing it alone. So will you be incorporating like synthesizers or loop pedals? Or... Yeah, there's gonna, definitely going to be some some gadgets there. Um, I've actually, I probably will eventually be playing with some really really great musicians uh, in the future, in the future. Mm -hmm. um, but that's you know kind of down the line. So you're going to be expanding into like a full band? Yes. All yes. right. What's that band going to look like? Yeah, so definitely some bass, definitely drums, definitely guitar. Um, so I think, yeah, it'll be four-piece, four-piece at first, maybe five-piece. Cool. So, yeah. All right, so what's been the highlight of 2018? Making my album has been incredible. Um, I set out to achieve this goal and I achieved it, so that's been the greatest highlight for me. And um feeling really good about the fact that I had to learn many new things that prior to doing this I didn't know how to do so for example I mix the album myself mm -hmm. I produce the album myself and um, didn't master it um, but that's fine because we can't do everything all the time there's only so many hats you can wear right <laughs> yeah uh, I mix it because of time really um, which was I mean, it was the universe saying to me, okay, this is for you to do, even though like I had different options to you know, get it done elsewhere. Cool. So actually, yeah, highlight is yeah, learning new skills and yeah, creating something that was just in my head, in mm -hmm. my imagination. It's all, like, one year before I released it, so yeah. Cool, so you're gonna be promoting that um, at the Breakout Club. What about 2019? Yeah. What's gonna happen there? Yeah, it's really weird. Like when I made the album, it was, a process that I thought okay I'm just gonna make it and it was you know it was fun and then when I when I finished making it I was exhausted <laughs> so basically I'm taking a bit of a break and um, I'm doing breakout club in November but yeah I'll be heavily promoting it in 2019 basically cool any yeah. video singles coming yeah 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 so I'm gonna be teaming up with some great visual artists next year nice. to bring some songs alive. Looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, 
with all the different hats you wear, yeah. um, are there any like words of wisdom you can pass on to younger musicians? Yeah, I would say definitely just be yourself. Like what? Like there's so many there's so many different artists out there, and you know if you don't fit into certain groups and genres, don't it doesn't matter. Like literally, there is something for everyone out there. And you know you've got like your pop music, you've got your rock music, you've got your alternative music, and like you will you will fit in, or you create any genre of music. So I just say go for it. Yeah. Cool. Where can people find out about your current material and anything new you will be doing in the new year? Yeah. So I have a website which is www.starsfm.co.uk. Mm-hmm. Right. And yeah. So Good domain name. Yeah, exactly. Straightforward. And um, Instagram, I'm on the handle at starsfm underscore. Yeah. Those are the main channels, yeah? Exactly, for now. You can find me on SoundCloud, which is what also, I think, yes, at starsfm underscore two. Spotify? As well. Yeah, on Spotify as well. Um, iTunes, Apple Music. Deezer, Tidal, yeah, everywhere. It's probably better to go to the website so then you can just go. Yeah, yeah, you can all the links. Yeah, exactly. Cool. All right, we'll put that there. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.